the Caleb Williams show in Norman last night. Good Lord, I had that on one of my TVs. And uh, Caleb Williams, 18 out of 23 for 295 yards passing, four touchdowns. He had nine carries for 66 yards and one touchdown. Kennedy Brooks, now that Caleb Williams is the quarterback, uh, Kennedy Brooks is a monster at running back for them. Had 20 carries for 153 yards, one touchdown. My question out of this game wasn't so much about Oklahoma because now, like, once they have a competent quarterback in there, yes, like, we know what we're going to get from that Oklahoma offense week in and week out. My question is, what in the world, and we ask it every week, it feels like, what's going on with TCU's defense? Like, the offense has been good enough. Max Duggan, 20 out of 30 passing, 346 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He had eight carries for 45 yards. And, and the wide receiver, Quentin Johnson, seven catches, 185 yards, three touchdowns. That should be enough for, an, uh, for a TCU team, for a Gary Patterson team to win with. If you've got a quarterback that is slanging for 300 yards and four touchdowns, you ought to be able to win a game. And and they've done it multiple times this year. Max Duggan has looked great this season. This defense is atrocious. Yeah, and they're bad. I, I, I don't know what to make of it. And I, I have tried watching this team. I'm buddies with guys that cover TCU, and they can't figure this out. Like, this defense on paper is supposed to be the best one that they have had ever under Gary Patterson, and he cannot get them working right. Like they're, they, I know that they've got some injury issues and whatnot, but I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. I, I mean, you you got a thought on this one? No, I mean it's just they're not good. I, like on paper, they're supposed to be good. Okay, who cares? Like they haven't been good all year. Why are we surprised? Like if they came out and they held them to thirteen points, I'd be shocked as shit. Yeah, yeah. Like them giving up fifty points doesn't surprise me because they've done it all year. This is who they are. It's what they do. At what point are we going to stop being surprised by things that we've seen over and over and over again? That's weird. Like, I don't get that. Well, I think I think the thing that I'm surprised about is that it has not improved, right? We're to the midway how are they going to the get season. better, Gary? How are they going to get better? If they're not good, how are they going to get better? Well, we just saw what LSU did against Florida, and I, I don't no, know. If no, it's... you saw a kitchen sink game. Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe. I don't know. And you also saw a team that came in that did something exactly the opposite of what they were like have done all year. That's true. Okay, true. Larry Pilgrim said, Cal put a 30-burger on TCU at home. Nuff said. Yeah, no, you, you ain't wrong about that. Ain't wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.